We're here at Omoor Park where we've just seen a new bit of history written in the hurling chapters of the book. Uh, Leash dumping Dublin out. Yeah, who'd have thought that beforehand? Leash in the Super 8s against Tipperary next weekend. And uh, how, what are we? Are we an hour nearly after the throw in and there's still a big crowd on the pitch? I mean, this is a historic day for Leash, there's no doubt about it. I mean, Leash stuck to their game plan and you waited and waited to see with a tighten up in their hurling. And they never did. And Dublin equalised with 15 minutes to go when you thought that Leash might just have sucked the life out of them, but they actually got the next three scores. But what impressed me more than anything was. Dublin came in as heavy favourites. Dublin had a superb win against Galway. Leash come out of Joe McDonough. And to bridge that gap, what is that gap? What's that points-wise? What's the difference of that? was called all the unknowns beforehand. But Leash from the off just played heads-up hurling. And everything that they did, they executed to perfection. The likes of the hand pass. I mean, they used the hand pass to great effect to get themselves out of trouble, to create overlaps and to create scores. And I don't recollect any instance where the ball went to ground. And it reminded me of Kilkenny executing the basics. And I always teach kids, you do the basics right, and it's what Kilkenny do, it's what the All Blacks do. Under pressure, their game holds up. And I waited and waited and waited when Dublin ratcheted up the intensity in the second half to see would Leash tighten. Long clearances, forced clearances, they never stopped. They kept breaking the tackle, heads up. They never once stopped at any stage in the whole game from playing to the system. And they eventually just broke Dublin's will. And to me, better side won, playing a better brand of hurling that stuck to it. Hedrington was brought on for Dublin at the end, and he was thrown on the edge of the square, and Dublin just went route one. Leash refused to do it. They stuck to the principles, they stuck to the core, they stuck to the belief that they had. They listened to their manager, who has imbued this self-belief in them. He knows how to do it. He played under a manager that knows how to do it, and they've listened to him, and he's been able to transpond that message to them. And in a short period of time, they've listened, they've learned, they've obviously worked hard at it and they just executed it brilliantly. A well-deserved victory, this was no fluke. Yeah, when you were watching it as well, and afterwards I spoke to Eddie Brennan and he called today's fixture feeling a bit like the slap of a wet towel in the face after their win last week. Then he said next week now they're facing into tip without even a full week's rest now. It's, he said it feels a bit like a wallop of a hurl in the face that won't bend. The fixtures, they don't help teams like Leash even when they do great things like this. Yeah, the only thing about it is they'll be pretty euphoric after this. And they'll they, they probably do it another week, to be fair about it. Um, and the fixtures don't help. And there's those that will argue that, number one, Joe McDonough uh, team shouldn't be in this stage because with Galway's and that gone. But I think today gives lie to that, that there is merits for it. I think there's merits for a six-team Leinster Championship as well. But... What an extraordinary performance from Leash. OK, they've got Tipperary next week. Tipperary are one of the favourites for the All-Ireland at the start of the year. Were Leash? No. Were they even favourites for the Joe McDonough? Arguably not. There was a belief that probably Offaly may have been favourites before any game started. So they're in bonus territory now. They've beaten Dublin. It's a big scalp. Dublin's a big scalp. Dublin drew with Wexford. Dublin were lucky against Kilkenny. And Dublin beat Galway. Dublin beat Carlow. Dublin are coming in with a very astute manager. A team backbone by cooler players. Players that know what it is to win. And know what it is to win All-Ireland Finals. Against a team who really today didn't really know where their level was. So what they did was they decided we'll work on what we do. We'll stick to the principles that we've you know, worked on for the last eight months. We will stick to our game plan and let's see what happens with that. And Eddie Brennan would have no fear of any team. He never did as a player. And of course, why would he when you're playing with Kilkenny and you've won as much as he's did? So he's been able to get that message across to them that we're as good as them. Stick to the game. Stick to the game. And to me, it wasn't an over-analysis of Dublin. To me, it was they've analysed their own game. Here's the way we're going to play. And if we execute our game, lads, I think we can win. And they executed it brilliantly. And Dublin didn't. So they transcended that gap from Joe McDonough up they're in bonus territory I would agree with you I think it's a fair question to say you know would another week benefit them of course it would because they'll be tired and sore bodies there but tonight they won't care about it Finally when you're watching this as an Offaly man yourself and we're talking about the Leinster Championship and how even just a few not even a few short years ago Leash kind of were down the doldrums we kind of saw them at the same level as Offaly Offaly have gone one way Leash have gone another what has been the difference aside from obviously the managers but I mean Offaly have had good managers too what is the difference? Well, have we had good managers? I mean, if you look at the way Leash played today, there was a system. There was a very definitive system. They played a particular brand. They played with a sweeper. They played heads up hurling. We call it heads up hurling. They never panicked. They didn't tighten. So 
I, I, I would say you could argue the point. Have we had good managers when you look at the way Leash have played? Have they better players? Yeah, they have better players. I mean, awfully people mightn't like to kind of maybe admit that because there's always been a good, healthy rivalry, Midland rivalry between us. But where they were at today and the way they held their game up, they're, they're, they're pretty far ahead of us. And that's, that's you know, we shouldn't even be comparing Leash to Offaly. Yes, Leash were down a number of years ago. I remember when Teddy McCarthy was over them, watching them in Tullamore, and it, oh, they hemorrhaged usually six or seven goals. They conceded that day in the championship, Leinster Championship. But um, it just goes to show what an individual can do. One individual, and this must be laid squarely at his shoulders, number one, to bring a belief into the camp, but number two, the belief. You see, what's critical for Leash now is some players had not been playing with Leash the last few years, is to look in at this, they're talking to their pals that are there, and they're saying, wow, what a setup! you've never seen anything like this. So going forward, you like to think that more players will come into it. We, we, have, to t- we have to mind our own housekeeping, but from a Leash perspective, they're up where they deserve to be because they've worked hard and they've believed in what they've been told and believed in themselves. And I, I couldn't credit them enough. I was so impressed with them today. I think it's a good place to leave it. It's another feather, a big feather in Eddie Brennan's cap. Gurvila Magata, Regan.